Hi, I'm Johan Eriksson, professor of saxophone at the University of Montana. Have you ever wondered how to get that smoky jazz sound, that smooth Lester Youngish or Paul Desmond sound or Ben Webster sound? How do they do it? Well, it has to do with your embouchure. You probably learned that your teeth needs to be lined up like this in your embouchure. Well, if you want subtone, and subtone sounds like this, there's a lot of in the tone. You need to pull your lower jaw as far out on the reed as possible. You let your top teeth stay where they are and you do this with your lower jaw. The further out on the reed you get, the more subtone you'll get in your tone. Sometimes you ask somebody, how do you do subtone? And they will tell you, you drop your jaw. There's a reason for this. A lot of jazz players have their neck strap lower than their classical counterparts. So if your neck strap is down here, notice that your head and your jaw is already further back. Now it's aligned, now it's further back. And I haven't even pulled it back yet. In order to pull it back more when I'm here, all I need to do is drop my jaw and it will go even further back. <laughs> So for somebody who has their neck strap low, it will feel like subtone is caused by dropping the jaw. Now I can disprove that that's not actually the case by simply pulling my neck strap up and dropping my jaw. At no point was there subtone. In order to get subtone, I have to get it further out on the reed. Um, subtone is not a low note technique, it can be done anywhere. It's just a smoothness to the sound that a lot of jazz players favor. I often get asked the question, What's the difference between a jazz embouchure and a classical embouchure? We've already talked about the subtone. Jazz players often have their lower jaw a little bit further back. But there's another main difference that many jazz players use. They roll out their bottom lip a little bit more than their classical counterparts. So a classical embouchure might look like this. While a jazz embouchure looks more like this. Can you see the slight difference in lower lip? It has mainly to do with volume. If I roll in my bottom lip a lot, my lip will be laying on the reed. If I roll it out a little bit more, could you hear it became louder? If I roll it out even more, it becomes even louder. This will allow me to cut through trumpets and trombones in the uh, big band or electrical instruments like uh, electric guitar or electric bass or drum set. Volume can be very important in jazz. It also allows me to point the sound a little bit, make it brighter. And a lot of jazz players like a brighter sound. 